It doesn't matter how f hard you work or how great your grades are. My grading system is based on the Calvinist doctrine of predestination. What's going on, y'all? Attorney Tom here. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to a compilation of illegal TikToks. Throughout the past week, my editors and mods have been sorting TikToks, saving them all, putting them into one big video, and wanting me to react to them. So let's jump into it, pull up the screen, go into the metaverse, and let's react to some TikToks. <laughs> Okay, here's the thing. When you are in a wrestling ring, presumably you're there voluntarily, and you consent to foreseeable actions. So you could make the argument that if you um, agree to wrestle this gentleman, it is foreseeable that he's going to body slam you and, uh, you know. But as a company, at some point, we need to <laughs> kind of take a look at how we can monetize something to really help I wouldn't know what that's like. I wouldn't know what that's like. Imagine, imagine just being behind a green screen. It's for, you know, it's for people who can't afford blimps, you know? Nah, nah, it's not funny, I've got school. <laughs> nah, I'm not laughing, I've got school. <laughs> nah, has he drawn on my face? <laughs> It's not funny. I don't know what this has to do with anything legal. I guess it's it could be battery, harmful or offensive contact. And what are the damages? The damages are the emotional trauma from having to go to school with uh, markings on your face. I've got school. Professor's okay. intro video. I'm dropping. But I stand before you today beholden to no human sucker and work in a paying union job and no limber dick sucker of an administrator is gonna tell me how to teach my classes because I'm a tenured professor. So if you want to go complain to your dean, you, go ahead, I'm retiring at the end of this year and I couldn't give a flying any longer. You people are just vectors of disease to me and I don't want to be anywhere near you. So keep your distance. If you want to talk to me, come to my Zoom. Okay, so. This brings up some pretty interesting legal concepts, okay? The concept of tenure at a university. The context behind this is this is a professor. He, he took his whole class remote online. That was his intro video. And it, and it goes on. It goes on. We can, uh, <laughs> we, 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 we can watch more of it. Here's the most important concept. In the real world, I give this professor, if it's his last year, even if he does a fireable offense, he doesn't care because it's his last year. Second of all, just because you have tenure does not make you immune from being fired. You. It makes it a lot harder to be fired. You can't get fired for, you know, petty reasons or, you know, just at the will of the dean or whoever. But you can still be terminated if it warrants it. And usually there's some elevated level of review, such as like a, a, a vote of some sort of council or the list of deans. And the action has to meet a certain level of criteria. You have to do something really bad. And then you can't just get fired on the spot. You have the right to have your case reviewed and then they have to vote on it. It doesn't mean you can't necessarily get fired. It just is very hard to get fired. And 99.9% .9 of the time, it's going to protect that tenured pr professor from being fired, um, you know, unless they do something absolutely crazy. Limber dick sucker. Uh, so what you really want to know is how the f am I going to get out of this course alive <laughs> and with an A? That is the real question. How does this ass professor grade? Well, let me set your mind at ease about that. You don't have a thing to worry about because there's absolutely nothing you can do. You have <laughs> no control over your grade. It doesn't matter how f hard you work or how great your grades are. My grading system is based on the Calvinist doctrine of predestination. It's good enough for Calvin. It's good enough for me. That's pretty funny. He just pre-assigns the grades at the beginning of the of the school year. Whoa! It's like Nick Ricada just jumps out at you you know because he's so short you one minute you're you're not paying attention then boom he pops out nick nick's quick like that too yo dude what is What's that up? the yo, guy dude. Oh, jump the cliff. No, dude, don't do that oh hello is he okay the cliff. No, 
Why do you don't do that? I can't tell if this was fake or not. Do we think this is real? Why do you don't do that? If it's fake, he committed. I mean, he, he, you know, he's diving down there. You know, if there's a ledge right there, he committed to that. Y'all can't tell me it's not beautiful here in Tennessee. I look. Probably fake, probably fake because he's filming. My mom lives in Tennessee. I really like Tennessee. I think Tennessee is a beautiful state. Let's see what's going on here. Seems to be a shark. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh Ooh. God. Is that a guy? Get out. He sees it. He sees it. Look at him. Oh, my God. Bro, what? I thought that was like a duck or something at first. He almost got murk i wonder what made the the shark stop attacking dad thought my grandma stole the french fry cup mm, right there check it i want to see because i thought we broke you of this what? <laughs> what's this <laughs> what is grandma <laughs> klepto granny grandma what are you doing look at her face <laughs> Sorry to this man. She was framed. Yeah. You know what? I think she was totally framed. Look, that is a... I believe granny. She was framed. Why would they be filming? You're not going to expose your granny like that. Let's be real. Who's going to rat on their grandma? That's hilarious. Hypothetical situation, you know, because this is how us personal injury lawyers need to think. Let's say this kid legitimately got hurt doing this. Okay. Does he have a case? Um, I would argue no. You know, maybe assumption of the risk going on top of a above ground pool when it's frozen over. Some body wants Oof. Okay. The kid did run in the middle of the street. He was probably blocked his you know the guy on the skateboard probably couldn't see him because he was behind this car um the kid looks okay Body won't. is if you could if you could establish liability oftentimes accidents like these are um like the homeowner's policy will insure them at least he tried you know what i give this guy props that's pretty impressive and again that that would be you know if he got injured that's more of a you know assumption of the risk kind of deal <laughs> just enjoying this beautiful moment on our honeymoon and then <laughs> rip bro that could be a case this guy was injured bookshelf or whatever a door book i don't even know what that is a cabinet hell yeah premises liability case free honeymoon am i right it's actually never worth it you know i make jokes sometimes but i deal with this every day <sighs> but that definitely could be a case not me hiding my cat in my apartment because i didn't tell them i had her Ooh. dog did oh you have any dogs and cats mm -mm. Cats will literally go out of their way to make themselves seen just because you're trying to hide them because it's a cat. Cats are awesome. I, mean, I promise you if that cat was there legally, it would just hide in the corner. What I learned in first semester in college, sidewalks are for cars too. Watch out for cars on sidewalk. The cars on the sidewalk don't stop if you scream. You will lose an eye to a sidewalk car <gasps> wow and that only cost him sixty thousand dollars a year it's pretty cheap if you ask me i hope that person had insurance because whatever that insurance policy is you should get the maximum and then some every border's worst nightmare
there's some pretty interesting cases involving ski resorts and ski mountains and i think i mean obviously it's going to depend on the state it's going to depend on where you are and it's going to depend on what they're doing like if you're backcountry skiing or whatever and that's not a manicured area you might just be on your own right but if you're at a ski resort i think there's some duty to maintain the premises and and you know have uh avalanche protection yeah f f in the chat he's a catastrophic injury attorney who accidentally became a YouTuber? Attorney Tom. So if you want to go complain to your dean, f you go ahead. I'm retiring at the end of this year and I couldn't give a flying f any longer. <laughs>